Yo, what's going on guys? As some of you will know, I put on my community tab a poll asking what video you'd like to see next. A melody tutorial came on top and I just wanted to say, what is wrong with my drums? Nah, I'm just joking. So today I'm going to be showing you my melody process, any tips and suggestions I give for making cool melodies. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to use a harmonic minor scale, I'm going to go for E minor. And because I used a guitar in my last video, I'm going to use a piano. So three things to keep in mind when making samples. Number one, your pattern's got to be bouncy, like it's got to have something to it. Number two, sound selection is vital, you've got to have sounds that blend well and that fit well together. And number three is your after effects, you have to make all your melodies sound all together and not apart and things like that. So yeah, I've got this piano open, now I'm just going to lay down a bouncy pattern. So as you can see, it's just simple and bouncy. It's just an arpeggiated E minor, basically. And then I'm going to copy and paste that over and change this note to like something a bit lower. So I like that. And then I'm going to paste these over. And then for the last note, I, I might move it down just to give it sort of like a tension feel before the pattern starts over again. So I'm happy with how that sounds, now I'm going to add a bass line. So the bass line is bouncy too, like the rest of the pattern, that just sounds like this. I've lowered the velocities as you can see. I'm going to Alt S to strum the notes and Alt R to randomize the velocities a little bit. The good thing about a piano is literally any sound can go with it, pretty much. So I'm going to open up a harp, I think. So for the harp, what I'm going to do is just literally follow the chords and add just a little bit more to them. Copy and paste these over and then on this last one obviously put it in the same chord. So I'm going to randomize the velocities of this harp and Alt S to strum. And yeah, it just sounds like this. I have these triplet notes, which add like bounce to the melody. So yeah, that sounds cool. Next, I'm going to add something to sort of accent the melody. I'm going to copy and paste the harp chords and delete all these extra notes. Now I'm just going to go into the velocity of these and drag them down a little bit and drag them down in here too. It's just a steel drum. So next what I'm gonna add is some vocals. I've been adding vocals in literally all my beats lately. So I'm using the patch called Solomo, set it to E minor, and then I'm just gonna lay down some accents. <laughs> So 
So I've just added the vocals. They don't sound very good at the minute just because they're not mixed properly, but they sound like this. Next, I think I'm going to add a, like a synth key just to add some further like texture to the melody. So I just have this synth key and I'm just going to lay down some accents. So I just added this synth key pattern, it's pretty simple. And like that, I'm just going to get that to sit in the back too. I'm tempted to have a flute, but I don't want to get absolutely rinsed in the comments. Screw it, I'm doing it. So I've added this flute. I'm going to keep it in for now, but I'm going to like, when I lay out the loop, give an option to not have it in. Now, the last thing I do is go into one shots and find some way to texture the melody. I'm not going to show you this part because it's just going to be so boring. So I've added all the one shots I want to, and it's just to texture the melody further. Just little notes here and there. They're like nothing that's worth even showing you. So I'm just going to EQ them all and then render them out. So with vocals, what I always do is add auto tune just because exhale can't have a harmonic minor scale like pulled up so then i just put it in e, e harmonic minor on here so this is the layout i want i'm just going to render all these out so i have the melody rendered out here now i'm going to send it to a mixer track and just put some detune on it the detune i'm going to use is called cassette and i'm just going to select a clean tape turn off the static and turn down the stability to like 80 which will get some wobble and then i'm going to re-render it out now what i'm going to do is pitch it down a few semitones now if you wanted to you could put it in fruity slice to chop it up or add the, like the little choppy effect which does give your melody more bounce but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is and uh, pitch it down some semitones. Maybe even speed up the beat a little. Now I'm going to send this to a mixer track and add even more effects. So then my finished loop, I'm going to play, let it play all the way through. Sounds like this. Kingsway music. So that was my melody tips and tricks and how I would go about making a melody. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and turn on post notifications. Follow me on social medias, links will be in the description. And any videos you'd like to see, please suggest in the comments. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.